G'day there everyone, welcome to Mastering Copilot Conversations. My name is Daniel Anderson and in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a model that we call the flipped conversational model. But before we do that, I know there are many of you that are not subscribed to the newsletter, uh, the weekly emails that I do send out with deep dives into uh, Copilot and also uh, SharePoint as well. So let's pause, head over there, danielanderson.io, pop your email address in, get subscribed and start receiving my emails uh, every single week. Now, on to the flipped conversation model. First of all, what is the flipped conversation model? You may not have even heard about it. Well, the flipped conversation model really reverses the traditional query response pattern uh, that you would normally see uh, in a generative AI type of scenario. So it's having, uh, in our case, Copilot ask targeted questions to get a better understanding of your need before providing these type of solutions or responses. And the approach really shifts from a reactive type of response to more of a proactive type of exploration. Now, the key principles with this type of model, first of all, the initial problem exploration. So Copilot, we want Copilot to begin by asking clarifying questions and to focus on the understanding and the context and also explore the constraints. So that really does help us uncover unstated types of requirements. We then go into more of a knowledge assessment. So Copilot can gauge your current understanding uh, the and identify any knowledge gaps and also adapt the explanation level accordingly as well. And then the solution co-creation. So yourself and Copilot can collaboratively develop uh, solutions and go backwards and forwards. And Copilot can suggest approaches based on the gathered information uh, that uh, Copilot has received and also provide continuous refinement through that feedback as well. So we're going to step through an example here, and it's a real world example uh, from a coaching session that I was doing with some senior leadership teams at a, at a particular organization, uh, where we're going to uh, look at Copilot as being our strategic transformation advisor or consultant. And we're going to flip this conversation, all right? so. I'm going to set the scene and I'm going to start the process here. So I'm just going to paste in um, a, a prompt. So we can see here, I need, to, I need you to act as my strategic transformation advisor. Rather than me explaining our solution, I want you to lead the conversation by asking me targeted questions about our organization. But your goal is to identify our most critical transformation opportunities and develop an actionable roadmap. Okay, so again, targeted, focused on uh, executive teams, CEOs and the like. Remembering we wanna try and use and target specific um, processes and roles to really get the most out of Copilot. And this is that type of example for this type of group. Okay, so let's have a look. We're gonna ask Copilot this question. All right, so absolutely, we've got seven questions that Copilot instantaneously comes back with, all right? So we've got question one through seven. What are your primary goals and objectives over the next one to three years? Can you describe the key challenges or pain points? Uh, and I'll let you read these other questions. Now, let's take a little bit of time now and I'm going to go away and I'm going to grab these questions and I'm gonna write some result or write some answers and then we'll come back and we'll feed that into Copilot and then we'll continue our conversation. All right, so we've gone away, we've had a think, we've brainstormed, and we've come back with our responses to our seven questions. And you can see I've got all of these answers and responses all documented here um, under the headings. I've got all, them all labeled. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna copy all of these. So I'm gonna go Control A, Control C, and I'll pop back in to Copilot. And I'll say, here are my responses uh, to these questions. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to paste my responses in like so. And I'll submit, all right? So here we go. And thanks for the detailed responses. Based on these, um, Copilot come, has come back with a few 
key recommendations. I can see several critical areas where we can focus our transformation efforts. Let's break them down into actionable steps. So I've got our uh, growth and market position. Um, we've got our product development. We've got our customer success, organizational development, addressing key challenges, enhancing technology stack, improving company culture and employee engagement, and also next steps. Um, and let's have a look at our next step. So let's prioritize these initiatives. Um, could you provide more insights into your current resource allocation and any budget constraints? This will help us tailor the roadmap to your specific needs and ensure a successful implementation. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to provide more information. So let me grab this and I'm gonna go away, have a think about what these are and then come back and feed my responses in. All right, so I've gone away and got a breakdown of our resource allocations and listed out some budgetary constraints as well. So I've got all of that all documented here. So again, I'm just gonna copy this information and I'm going to um, just start this conversation or continue this conversation, all right? Um, here are some more insights. More insights into our resource allocation, our location and budget uh, budget constraints. Budget constraints, and I'm going to pop that those uh, responses in there, and we'll send this across to our um, strategic consul consultant. All right. So based on this detail breakdown, we can refine our strategic transformation uh, roadmap to align with our resource allocation and budget constraints. Okay, so we've got our personal re personnel resources. Um, it's well distribu distributed across engineering, sales, and marketing. Um, and However, there are some key areas where resource constraints are evident, such as shortage of senior engineering, limited bandwidth in DevOps and QA, so that's good. Financial resource allocation, so we've got this budget um, and our primary investments in uh, product development technology, and we've got these here. The remaining budget is allocated to general uh, operations, key budget constraints. All right, so our, here's our strategic recommendation. So above here is more of a summary of what I've provided. Now here we've got our strategic recommendations to address all of these constraints and to optimize the transformational efforts, consider the following strategies. So we've got optimized cloud and infrastructure costs, enhanced training and development, focus on high impact projects, um, and we've got uh, a few others there as well. All right, so we're getting there. So let's develop a detailed action plan for each of these uh, each, each of these strategies. Could we provide more insights into the current project management practices and any specific areas where we see opportunities for improvement? All right. So let's now take this next step. We'll go away and we'll have a think about these two areas, uh, and then we'll come back and see what uh, what Copilot has to say about that. All right, so we've gone away, we've had a chat as an executive team, we've come up uh, and documented our project management practices. We've also um, outlined some key improvement areas that we potentially see as well, all right? So now I'm going to copy all of this from our brainstorm, and I'm going to come back uh, here and say, here are some more insights uh, into our uh, PM practices, and also a few areas that we see as potential opportunities, okay? And then we'll paste what we workshopped in there, all right? So here we go, and let's have a look. So key improvement opportunities, and here are our strategic recommendations, all right, to address these opportunities, consider the following uh, actions, all right? So here's a, some six actions that we could then follow up on, all right? And now we've got another next steps, all right? So um, let's prioritize initiatives and develop. Can we provide more insights into our current project portfolio and any specific projects that are critical to the organization's success? So again, we're just gonna have a chat uh, as an executive team and let's 
get some responses for this question. All right, so here is our current project portfolio. Uh, we've gone away, had a look at our current projects. We've got uh, and listed out as much detail as we can around these pro about around these projects. Uh, and we've also got our, our critical projects here. So again, I'm gonna copy this. Um, here are the um, details as requested. And we'll pop that in there and we'll send that to our advisor. All right, so here we go. Let's have a look. So strategic technology projects, business objectives, strategic recommendations, and we've got a few more things uh, that we need to provide. So can you provide more insights to any specific challenges or risks associated to these? All right. So again, we've got our strategic recommendations for this part. And now we're looking for any more insights into specific challenges or risks associated to these. So let's have a think about if we do have any, all right? So uh, let's take this question and we're gonna go back to our executive team uh, and have a chat about that, all right? So let me just uh, get some responses and then we'll come back. All right, so we've gathered our information. Um, here is the information uh, as requested, and we'll paste in our responses here. Uh, so we've we've listed out all of our risks and cha challenges overview overviews, and we'll feed that back in. All right. Let's have a look. Uh, based on the information, we can develop a targeted mitigation strategies to uh, address the risks. So we've got some mitigation strategies that we've come back with. Um, and now the next step is a detailed action plan for each of these mitigation strategies. So can we provide more insights into any specific dependencies or factors that might impact these projects? And let's just uh, say uh, there are uh, no specific dependencies dependencies or external factors uh, that may impact, that may impact these projects. All right, so again, we're just having a conversation. Uh, we can focus on the internal strategies to ensure their success. And here's a detailed action plan based on the information, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we are looking good. All right. Um, can you now please provide an overall strategy and road map for the next 12 months to improve our project operations and profitability. Uh, let's go profitability of our company, please, based on the inf on the information uh, information gathered. So let's see what we come back with. All right, so we've come back with an overall strategy. Now again, not an end result, but it's something that we could begin to build our strategy and roadmap around. Given that we've had this conversation, we've gone away and got our information, and now um, what uh, Copilot is doing is giving us some recommendations, all right? So we can take this now. Here's the overall strategy. We've got Q1, we've got Q2, We've got marketing, uh, Q1, we're looking at operational efficiency, technology enhancement, market expansion, and it's broken the this up in, for each quarter, all right? So we're focusing on operational uh, efficiency, technology enhancement, and market expansion for each quarter. And it gives us a few different bits and pieces uh, to do based on the responses that I gave it, um, 
uh, throughout that conversation. And remembering that the conversation doesn't have to happen all at once. We can come backwards and forwards to this conversation because the chats are saved, right? So we can jump up into here and we can come back to our conversations when we need to, when we've got our responses, when we've got our answers, and then we can respond and have continually have that conversation. Now, the good thing about this now is that we can also take this end result now and we can move this into a more collaborative type of canvas and we can uh, now use copilot pages to then bring, um, then collaborate with the other executive team based on these recommendations. So using this edit in pages, that's going to create this, uh, this collaborative canvas for us powered by loop, right? So now what we can do is we can take this, uh, this roadmap, we can turn this into a collaborative canvas now, and I am going to say um, proposed 12 month strat, and roadmap, and then we could share this amongst our executive team, okay? So, and then they can all have their say, uh, and we can collaborate around this roadmap now. We can have um, our comments, we can share, so you can see here, we can share the page link, we can copy the component, and the beauty about this being a component is that I can now copy this, I can then paste that into an email, a Microsoft team uh, channel or a chat or a group chat, uh, anything like that that supports those loop components. And then we can start to iterate and ideate around our, our roadmap. Uh, and it doesn't matter where we choose to work. We can choose to work in any of those locations and it's going to be dynamic, live, in sync because it is that loop component. So these co-pilot pages are powered by, by Microsoft Loop as well. So there we go, mastering co-pilot conversations and having and utilizing a more proactive type of conversation with that, with that flipped conversational model um, does really uh, be become more proactive rather than reactive. Uh, so give it a go, try it out. Um, co-pilot conversations, the flipped conversation model, let me know how you go. And don't forget, subscribe, danielanderson.io. Grab the emails every single week. There'll be more insights, more use cases uh, on how you can master your co-pilot conversations.